Hey everyone, Scott here with Midcurrent and welcome to Inside the Box, where we unpack and share with you some really cool fly fishing and outdoors gear and give you our first thoughts on things such as features, functions, and overall our first impressions right out of the box. So today let's jump on in and unbox something from our friends at Hardy. <laughs> All right, so today we're checking out the Hardy Ultralight X Rod, which is a new rod within their series. All right, so right out of the box here, really beautiful rod tube. It's got the Hardy branding, the Ultralight X logo on there. So before we actually pull out the, the sleeve here, I wanna show you this on the inside of the, the cap for the rod tube. And ultimately it's a little cork insert that they have on the inside of the cap there. Um, not a huge deal, but again, to me, it's just one of those tiny little embellishments that Hardy does in a lot of their products that really showcases you know, their, their commitment to the details and uh, really adding as much uh, um, you know, kind of quality as they can to, to their product. So again, pretty small little feature, but just something I want to point out there. And then before I pull the, the sections out here, I want to show you something that's, uh, again, another one of those really nice little features is we've got our four sections here. On the top of each of these three sections here are these little caps right here. I'm gonna pull this one off. And these are, I think they're probably aluminum, some sort of metal. And basically what you can do is you can pop those off. It's got a little pocket right there. You can store those in there when you're fishing. And so really what those little caps are for are to keep the rod, you know, the shape intact, keep that nice circle. And ultimately this is a, it's a pretty thin little section there. So you don't want to accidentally crush that or, you know, bend the shape. So within the Ultralight X series, there's actually uh, four different weights. There's a five weight, a six weight, a seven weight, as well as an eight weight. So kind of on the, the heavy heavier end of weights. All of them are, are four piece rods. And then there's three different length options available within this series. So there's a nine foot, a nine foot six inch, as well as a 10 foot option. Today, we're actually looking at the nine foot five weight option. So let's, uh, let's kind of take a little deep dive in here. So at the very end here, we're gonna take a look at the real seat. Um, you'll notice at the end here, it's got a really nice wood inlay, almost kind of like a 80, 20 or 90, 10 split at the, at the end here for actually where the, the reel seats into the rod. Got this really nice wood inlay. And then at the other end here, there's almost like a carbon fiber sort of a looking uh, texture on the inside there. We're actually gonna seat the reel there. Uh, really nice up locking rings here at the very end here. We've got a nice hardy logo. And then right here, number five, five weights stamped on the, uh, right below the, the cork here. In terms of handle options, there are two different handle options within the series. So there's the, what they call the FW plus EH, which is a full wells plus handle extension, AKA really a fighting butt at the end of that one. And then what we're looking at right here, which is the RHW, which is a reverse half wells. And all of their, their grips, uh, their corks are made of a high quality 4A cork. So really high quality materials. Then down at the butt section here, you know, we've got this really interesting, you can almost, not sure if you can see on the camera there, but uh, this really nice carbon fiber overlay here, which really helps kind of stiffen up that butt section. Um, these are fast action rods, so uh, they're gonna be a little bit stiffer, and really that's gonna help you with, you know, casting large streamers, articulated flies, even heavy nymphing rigs. It's also gonna help you, you know, lift up some of that heavier line, especially if it's a sinking line, be able to cast, you know, through, cut through the wind, and, uh, you know, really kind of a, a heavier tackle, heavier species type of a rod, if you will. Um, in terms of the color, this is what they call a red metallic, so you can, catch it in the, the light there. It's almost kind of a burnt orange, really beautiful color, really kind of deep, rich color. Um, on some of the wraps here, they also have this really nice fire engine red metallic wrap with a, a black accent on each side. In terms of the guides, I actually wanna show you this section right here, which is really interesting. Kind of, to me, in my opinion, one of the cooler features on this, uh, on this rod. So if you haven't seen these, these are actually Cerakoil stripping guides and then recoil snake guides here. So many other rods have, you know, stainless steel or aluminum. And what happens if you accidentally bend one of those or, you know, step on it or squeeze it too hard, you can, uh, you know, kind of lose its shape or bend it or ultimately can even snap those off. And ultimately what these do is, I'm gonna show you here really quick, both of these. 
is they can bend and flex. And when you bend and flex them and you let go, they actually retain their uh, shape memory. So they're gonna go right back to their original shape. So uh, lots of flex, uh, pretty hard to break these. I'm sure ultimately you could probably break it if you wanted to, but um, they're gonna kind of help withstand some of those uh, rigors that you, you put it through when you're fishing. And uh, really, in my opinion, I think they're, they're really cool. I think also, you know, as the rod flexes, they're gonna move with it, move with the line, you know, help with some of that uh, flexibility as well. So overall, you know, my first impressions on the Ultralight X rod, I think it's a fantastic rod. I think anything from Hardy, in my opinion, is gonna be a really fantastic purchase. Um, they, they use really high quality materials, very thoughtful embellishments and features, and um, you know, well worth the money. So if you're interested in checking this out, you can go to hardyfishing.com, check them out at your local fly shop, and it retails for $8.50.